We are live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. There's a sellout crowd, of course, a wild air of anticipation. The undefeated Chicago Bears are in town to meet the Miami Dolphins. There have been three undefeated teams in the NFL over the years. The Bears have a pair of them. The last to be undefeated were the 72 Dolphins. 14-0 regular season. They went to 17-0 with the victory over Washington in Super Bowl VII. Miami would like to see their record stay intact. They would like to win tonight. But more importantly, they are fighting for a divisional playoff. Right now, a very concerned Miami Dolphin quarterback, Dan Marino. Third and 18 against the Chicago Bears defense with 50 sacks on the year. That's not a good position to be in. Again, no blitz. Marino, come on back. Give me a break, guys. And finally, he gets the receiver downfield. And coming down with it is Mark Duper. Join Mark Clayton and Mark Duper. Marino, Matt Moore. Moore takes it in. 33-yard touchdown. They picked up the blitz. Marino was right on target. And Matt Moore shook loose from one tackler. The undefeated Bears at 12-0. Going against the Dolphins, 8-4. Trying to stay with New England and the Jets atop the AFC East. Fuller is back. Galt is wide open. Galt had to come back for that pass by Fuller. We talked about his speed. And about William Perry. Fuller over the top. Touchdown Chicago. They come roaring right back. Answering the touchdown of the Miami Dolphins with 8-21 remaining in the first quarter. Fuller taking it in on the quarterback's knee. With 8.21 remaining in the first quarter. Lorenzo Hampton will bring it out of the end zone. Offense in for Miami. Tony Nathan. Nathan back in with Woody Bennett. Marino in and out of the hands of Duper. The Dolphins' touchdown was the first touchdown the Bears' defense have given up in 13 quarters. There was movement, but there is no flag. Marino, and again, Duper does not hold on, and that would have been a big gainer. Only one in his last 16 attempts. He's 18 of 21 for the year. Second down, a long seven. That's Willie Gold in motion. Fuller trying to get a screen off to Peyton. Picked off. And again, Tipper's flare. Flag is down. Here they come. And down goes Marino. The Dolphins had given up the fewest sacks into the night. The Dolphins have led the league over the past three years in fewest sacks. And they have a commanding lead once again this season. Reflective, of course, of the quick arm of Dan Marino. Third and 19. Matt Moore. Durison was with him, but Moore... Turned around, the ball was there, but the pass was there. Marino held it to the last possible second, and Moore beating Durison for the reception. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Marino in trouble, and down he goes. Otis Wilson, who took up residency. Marino, Cooper is just as interested, one would suspect. The streets of the Wendy City are quite empty tonight. Into tonight's game, leading in those same categories. Touchdown, <laughs> Davenport, inside trap. Seven for seven.
Fuller. Moorhead. A win tonight, and they're tied once again for first place in the AFC East. Walter Payton. Tomzak couldn't play after Fuller, then I'd play McMahon. I don't think he's ready. He's only practiced this week. He's been out the last three weeks. Second down and eight. Fuller. Gold holds on. On first and goal. Fuller. The crowd will boo. They'll want a throwing the ball away penalty. They're going to get it. It's the old in the grass call is what that last one was. The official blew the whistle, said Fuller was in the grass. Chuck Studley, defensive coordinator, hustles in to prevent defense for the Dolphins. The thinking pass, Peyton will throw the ball. Boy, he hung up one for grabs. Tried to get it back to Fuller. That'll be incomplete. Just to shorten the Dolphin lead. And Butler, who's had a tremendous year, the fourth round pick from Georgia. Gets it through the uprights. He has 16 of his last 17 attempts. Third and long from the shotgun. Marino. Cooper. Eric Laxo didn't come back from injury a year ago, and Bob Kuchenberg retired. Cleveland Green not gonna get is this still team. hurt. Third down and seven. Marino, Clayton. Clayton dances down inside the five, inside the two. The ball inside the one. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Davenport into the end zone easily. Oh, do they love it here. The Dolphins getting the Bears' attention. Fuller, nothing doing downfield. He had a lot of time. Amazing. About to replace Tony Galbert as the all-time leading receiver as a running back. Fuller on the scramble, taken down from behind by Brzezinski. Kicker Buford. Dwight Stevenson remains the center, even though in pain with the right shoulder injury for the Dolphins. Marino gets the pressure, but he gets it to Nat Moore. Marino has been buffeted about, but he's kept his calm and his cool, and he's firing strikes. Don Sula has weaved a special magic, at least in the first half tonight. They lead Chicago, the undefeated Bears, 31-10. They've had great field position on their drives all night. Marino. Picked off. Rusty Frazier. So things work well for the Bears defense here on the opening offensive play for the Dolphins. Frazier with the interception. That's Peyton in motion. Fuller. Peyton. First down. Third and four for the Bears. McMahon trying to go to Walter Payton. Yes, the interception by Glenn Blackwood is inbound. Walter Payton did not even appear as if he was a prime, certainly a prime receiver. Third down and 10. Matt Moore joins Mark Duper and Mark Clayton as a third wide receiver for Miami. Low snap. Marino pulls it up. It fires a strike to Clayton. He drops the football. Richard Den has it. And Dent back to the 15-yard line. Clayton. And they have a first down. They are at Miami's 27-yard line. Walter Payton. On this third down and eight. Like a bad fire drill out there on the part of the Dolphins. And Fuller gets it to the tight end. Earlier tonight, they went with the quarterback sneak with the fridge in there. They try it again. And it works. Over the top goes Steve Fuller and the Bears. 
Turn a Clayton turnover into a touchdown. Butler to kick, Lorenzo Hampton is deep, and they try an onside kick, and it's field and handled there quickly. Alex Moyer for a third down and six. Duper, Moore, and Clayton. Out of the way. Oh. Into the arms of Clayton. <laughs> oh, and are things going right for the Dolphins tonight? 42 yard touchdown. Batted into the air at the line of scrimmage. It's far from over, but I guess you could call it Orange Bowl magic. The Dolphins have only lost one game out of their last 18 that they played here. Remains. Puts it high. And Gentry will take it from the one. Gentry has something happening. The nose tackle is relatively young at that position defensively for Miami. First and ten. Well, a lot of time. That's Marjoram. Ken Marjoram, the former Stanford All-American, his 12th reception of the season. This all of last year with... Knee surgery, but he was something at Stanford. Uh, had them a little bit dizzy in the first half. Now the defense has to get the football back for the offense. Reno overthrows intended for Duper. Mix up in the backfield, I think, either that or it was a design play to lull the defense in such a turmoil over a football game. And there have been a lot of great years down here. Now they've quieted somewhat. Third down at 13. Four all three remaining here in the third quarter. Down goes Fuller. Well, I'd want to give him a lot of room on the sidelines. The first down for the Dolphins at the 24-yard line. Tony Nathan. I don't believe this. <laughs> I, I don't believe Play. it. Well, I'm working on the clock, coach. <laughs> that more is wide open, and, and you're right. They've done a magnificent job keeping the Bears pass rushes off Marino. Marino goes down, and the ball is loose. The Bears, do they cover it? Steve Clark. Here's the crowd. Fuller on a bit of a sprint out. Drills it in. And will we see the magic that Fuller provided earlier in the season on a Thursday night game in Minnesota? McMahon has a second and 15. Suey. Good running by Suey. First down and 10 at the old 45. Charles, the nose tackle. McMahon on a spread out. Marjoram is in there for McKinnon, top of your screen. Wide open. Marjoram. Matt Suey. He'll lose yardage to the 29-yard line. And uh, he came back and was playing right defensive end this year. Baumauer couldn't come back, so they put him in a nose tackle, and he's playing a great game tonight. Down goes McMahon. That's Mac Moore. This game is 6-35. You're down by two touchdowns. We got a fourth down and 34. I believe in the defense, but not this much. Judson brings it out as well he should. 
<laughs> the interception in the end zone, which was ill-advised, would have given the Dolphins the ball at the 20. All he had to do was knock it down to get it at the 40. Nathan. And there is a veteran move. They're still the best team in football. But not tonight. It will be a 52-yard attempt. He made one in college at Tennessee from 60 yards out. Long count. They look for the offside. Payton. Oh. What a move Walter Payton put on Mac Moore. Ball is loose. <laughs> Dolphins say they have it. Payton has turned it over. Twice. What a victory for the Dolphins. As Dolphin players congratulate Walter Payton. And Dan Marino reigns supreme once again. Payton on the night will wind up with 121 yards. Don Shula has won his ninth game of the season. And he has the Dolphins in a tie with the Jets.